And that is why they, the whole concept, the year of Christ is instituted. There is so that no everyone will wind up knowing about Christ. So that everyone might know that it is Christ, every member of every religion might know that it is Christ. That is why the year is divided into Christ, in Christian calendar. If you must travel from one country to another, you must put reserve your ticket in Christian calendar. Every man with a breath inside or a woman with a breath inside has his date of birth recorded in the Christian calendar. Every program, every political party of any country is recorded and programmed according to the Christian calendar. Every atheist or agnostic calculates his program or programs the software. The meaning of this is there is nothing that, we, that can be done without Christ. How many of you believe that? That means that everyone with a breath will come to know Christ. And that is a great plan of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is a plan of God that everyone must come to know about the gospel. Christ established a kingdom of his own. It is just, it is the institution or kingdom of God established. It is a Christ who has established a kingdom or a world of a kingdom in all races and all brands. We are going to think about a kingdom or a type of kingdom that is going to be established. Praise the Lord. All the signs regarding the second advent are slowly being fulfilled. And a supercomputer that developed in Belgium. And the microchip and the computer is capable of uh, is capable of programming a microchip that can locate anywhere. And it's probable that it's one of those computer systems that will record the number triple six on our people. And that research is going on still. Praise the Lord. And it is upon the second coming of Christ or in relation to it that the supercomputer is developed. It is, it is a development or a piece of research that uh, tries to nullify the coming of Christ. And the whole sign of the symbol of that is a broken cross. And that is where the supercomputer is currently being developed. And its, and its plans are being put into place. And the whole plan is to bring mankind subject to that one computer system. And so a few banks have already accepted the program as this system. And many social security numbers have already been made in triple six. And many countries are fast, quickly fulfilling the prophecies that are All the foundation stones have already been laid. All the foundation stones have surely been laid. Many hundreds of Jews are being trained in the Levitical priesthood. There is only, there is only one temple. And that is the Church of Christ. 
And when the temple is removed from the people of the earth, another temple will be revealed as the leadership of the Antichrist. And the stones to build that temple are all being arranged. It will take only a few days to rebuild the Jewish temple and the Old Testament of the era of law will be And the Jewish at the Jewry is practicing its priest for administration in the Jewish temple. The reason is those are in the way must go. What is blocking the Antichrist from taking the world stage is the Church of God. When the Church of God is taken, so will the Holy Spirit. There are some 490 years of a gap between the Jews. And that 490 years has elapsed. And 483 of those years were, uh, have elapsed. The same and we stand in the middle of the uh, from 483 years to 490 years. We have not entered the great tribulation which will last for a full seven years. There is still one year that is yet to be fulfilled for 480 And that period is labeled the age of grace. And the age of grace is about the church calling people from all nations, tribes, and tongues to come to Christ. He has taken us, we who were wild olive branches, and grafted us into the Today we have become we have an inheritance in Abraham through faith. And when but when the church is taken away from the earth, the fulfillment of the 497 years will come. It has stopped at 483 years. And the from the period from 483 to 490 is the period of, 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 of the church. When the church is removed from the earth, the abomination that says desolation will come. The mystery is still being revealed. It is the Holy Spirit that is preventing the revelation of the abomination. When the church is removed, the mystery will be revealed. And that is the Antichrist. And it is the second, third Jewish temple he will sit in Jerusalem. And he will be built in Jerusalem. And when he's sitting in the temple, and he will form a one world government. And that is whatever will have to bear the seal of the But the same children of God will not be. And they will be as the bride of Christ in the midair. And they will be in the midair with their Lord. How many of you are joyful of this? When the bride of Christ is rejoicing in the wedding in the mid-air, the earth will undergo severe trials in the great tribulation. 
even if there are many verses greeting connection with this topic, I wish to proceed forward quickly. I wish for you to understand the subject. When the seven years of the wedding are going on uh, in the midair, all the first three and a half years of tribulation will be experienced by everyone. And the final three and a half years will be focused specifically on the Jews. And the Jews will suffer a great persecution because of the abomination of the ancestral desolation. And they will have a revelation about the Messiah they saw now. And that is when they will look at the one whom they pierced. With the same level of destruction and persecution, what they face in 870 will come about them again. They will remember and look to whom they face. And, and they will confess that it is us and our fathers who have crucified the Lord Jesus Christ. When the seven years of tribulation are going on in the earth, uh, the bride of Christ will be rejoicing with Christ in the mid After the seven years are completed, uh, please, please pay attention. Please, anyone quickly read the book of Zechariah, chapter 14. If you can turn to the book of Zechariah, chapter 14, verse 18. John the Revelator also talks about the same issue in Revelation chapter 19 verse 17. And the verse of the book of the epistle of Jude last night is related to this. There are two phases for Christ's second time. And those two phases are mentioned in great The first phase is about Christ's secret coming and the second is public. Let no one think that the coming of the Lord is all that far away. The secret coming is akin to the thief of the night. While the great day of the Lord is one that will happen in public. The whole world will not come to know about the secret coming of Christ. Only those who have been sanctified by the blood of Christ will come to know about that. And it will happen in a moment of moment. And in the twinkling of a second. And in the moment of a second where no enemy can block that. Just like a wolf or a fox tries to take the uh, baby chicken that is the way Christ will come to take away the church. And it will be an immediate rapture or rather a lift in the sky. And Christ will take his church in the sky before any satanic force can come to take and the dead believers will, will be resurrected. While the believers will likely transform. How would it feel happy tonight? And this uh, Paul elaborates in the book of Corinthians. 
If you can read the book of Corinthians chapter 15, we will discuss this. Paul says, like, uh, the position of Mr. Jesus, you have not seen the body of that saint.